Ireland's best road races to camp to County Carlo for the fourth and final round of the National Road Series, where Carlo Road Club presented the Des Hanlon Memorial Races. The riders faced the prospect of showery conditions as they prepared at Leinster Marts for one of Ireland's premier one-day races and a final hit-out ahead of the following week's National Road Championships. The women's race featured National Road Series leader Fiona Mangan, fresh from riding for Ireland at Ross Naman, Round 3 Series winner Quibo Bryan from Torelli Assure and three-time former National Road Race champion Lydia Boylan. Cora McCarthy livened up the early proceedings with a long-range attack, but the Blarney CC rider was reabsorbed shortly before the riders arrived on the first of two planned laps of a 33-kilometre loop, which included the main climbs of the day. Becky Woods pushed hard to get clear and helped to reduce the leading group to six as the windy conditions and the attritional nature of the course soon served to whittle down the lead group, with Mangan, O'Brien, Boylan, Ella Doherty and Cleo Harvey up front. The course distance was reduced by a lap, meaning the final climb of Kalishan proved decisive. O'Brien forged clear with only Boylan and Woods able to follow, and behind, Fiona Mangan was forced into a frantic chase of her nearest series rival, Woods, and had her former Greenman Cycling Academy club mate, Ella Doherty, to assist. With double points available in the final round, a top result for Woods could help the all-human Velo Revolution rider overhaul Team Rupel Cleaning's Mangan on the final day. Back at the outskirts of Carlo, the lead trio held off their pursuers and sprinted for the win at the end of 67 kilometres, with O'Brien just edging a tight contest from Boylan, with Woods taking the final podium position. Just a few seconds after the lead group, Mangan led Doherty in for fourth, with Cleo Harvey of Dublin Wheelers rounding out the top six. I was, I was really happy with that win, and um, it was a tough circuit. I knew it was going to spit on the hill, and... Um, yeah, three of us got away and we held it off and I, I got it in the sprint, so I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm so happy. For Mangan, it's the culmination of a season-long quest. Yeah, no, it means so much. Um, it's really nice to finish the season like this um, and to start, I guess, my cycling year as well. Um, yeah, it's class. <laughs> Darcy Harkness led in the second chase group for seventh from Jenny Neenan eighth, Cora McCarthy ninth and Yvonne Doran in tenth. Mangan's resilience netted fourth on the day and enough points to maintain her series lead to the end, with Woods second, O'Brien's two victories taking her to third with Darcy Harkness of VC Glendale fourth. The men's race over 133 kilometres included three laps of the hilly and demanding 33 kilometre loop. Dara Feely of All Human Velo Revolution wore the leader's jersey into the final round, with Gareth O'Neill of Team Caldwell Cycles still in contention for series honours. Feely was involved in the action from the start as the series leader joined a move which included Tony Stoyanov and Ronan Colleen of Lucan CRC, Andy Maguire of Spelman Dublin Port, Jason Kenny from UCD and Galway Bay's Killian Murphy. Feely went clear with Maguire, Chris McGlinchey and Luke Smith from Moynalty but the bunch was alive to the danger. McGlinchey was in feisty mood and combined with Mark Dowling of All Human Velo Revolution to break clear, they were soon joined by Joel Luke of UCD to form a formidable combination. It was all action behind, but no cohesive chase formed until, with 70 kilometres remaining, McGlinchey sensed a weakening in the brakes resolve and he decided to forge clear. Luke gave valiant chase, but first Dowling and then he were reabsorbed by the chasers as McGlinchey embarked on an epic bid for glory. Feely was heavily marked but eventually sprang clear with Jason Kenny and they were joined by Liam Curley of Spelman Port and Matthew Devins of Trinity Racing in the task of closing down a two-minute gap to the leader. McGlinchey's form is building nicely for the national championships and he had enough in hand to take victory, 46 seconds clear of Feely who led in Devins and Curley to secure the national series title. For McGlinchey, the victory is more than just a season highlight. Yeah, delighted with that. It was, uh, I made it tough for myself. I was away with Darling and a guy from UCD, so, well, for the first 30 kilometres or so, and then they they were on a bad day, so I just I just had to attack them and, and go solo. I think I maybe had 80 kilometres solo, so it was a t tough day in the saddle. Dara Feely missed out on the win, but was delighted at how he retained good form across the season to win the National Road Series. Look, the, the main goal today was to come away and defend the jersey. I, obviously, going into the race, I was a marked man, but look, we gave it a good rattle and we rode as hard as we could. And look, in the end, we managed to take home the goods, so I'm, I'm delighted with it. Now, look, it would have been nice to come home with the win today as well, but look, the main goal today was the National Road Series, so can't complain. Really happy with it. 
Behind the leading quartet, Connacht McCann led Andy Maguire home for fifth ahead of Luke Smith, Connacht Kassan, Ronan Killeen and Jason Kenny. In the end, Feely's National Road Series advantage was 40 points clear of McGlinchey, with Luke Smith and Liam Curley also leapfrogging above Gareth O'Neill in the final standings.